I mean, we're pretty bad at things. I'm not going to lie about it. Um, oops, I pulled out my gun again. I was trying to run. I think I pressed the usual run button. I kind of look like I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> Dang. This is tight space pants. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site one issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. Yeah. We can't open it without codes. Thanks, Sam. Can't open it without codes. Yeah, you had a lot of fun with RC today. No, that's good. I know she was talking to me. She actually told me to to let you know earlier when she um apparently her her Wi-Fi went out, uh, but it was while I was still asleep. So then when I woke up, she was like, "Oh yeah, everything's good and we're playing." And she's like, "You should join." And I was like, "I would, but this is the first time in a while it's been sunny." So uh, I took care of some errands and did some work and shopping. But I'm glad that you had fun though. And you killed a pirate. Yeah, I know. I think I have a couple. Um, I, those message in a bottles, uh, messages in bottles usually have like pirate people to take care of. But I mean, <laughs> we kept our ship kept getting sunk by the dang I think skeletons. This is purifying water. But maybe that was just like a high level area. The storms did that. Oh, you, you, she, you thought she's no, 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 no. Uh, RC will let you know if she's mad at you or at other people. She's very vocal about that, so you don't got to worry about that. Okay, I'm going this way. I have no idea really what's going on because um, I'm chatting and also just running around in my diaper pants. Hello, why did my, why did we rumble? Are we in the, is this the area? Oh wait, we're supposed to follow the, I don't remember what that means. <laughs> what does it mean when the thingy goes off? Am I supposed to go in here? Do I press a button? Sam, help me. Uh, oh, here we go. Is it... Okay, oh yeah, I forget I can jump. Jumping's a thing I can do. Oh! Okay, we found- Yeah, we found the thing! Examine. Why? Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. Yeah. Activate the terminal. Play audio log. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Oh. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. Oh no, Lockley! Young, um, okay, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I had to. I got RC and Zunders back on. I have to go back through and find everybody's sounds again. Um, well, I have to re-download them. Yeah, well, no, the, the bot's up. It only has like three things on it though, because yeah, stuff happened. Um, I, I forgot that I put all the sounds on my C drive. And that OBS and Streamlabs chatbot were also on the C drive because I was like, ah, I should probably have it on my um, SSD. Granted, I have three SSDs in my computer. I should have put it on a different one, but I wasn't thinking. And then I reset Windows because it was acting funky. So it wiped a lot of things. And of course, I don't think to back things up because I'm like, I just want to do this now. And yeah. But I'm pretty sure I still have your Main sound door, um, power, not the interior in messages, so I can I can just download it and oh, take all the stuff. Functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's up with the power relay? Mes message, message, message for Nick Thaniopoulos. People are talking here, saying that Aos isn't viable, that things aren't going like they expected. I think you should come back. I know you're going to say, I didn't sign up for the initiative state trapped in a floating tin can. And I promise, you can have your adventure. 
later when they've had more time to plan for your safety. Mom told me to make sure you don't go get in over your head, and that's what I'm doing. At least, think about it for me. Check in more often. Started to adopt Mom's worry. I already chewed through the nail of my pinky finger. It's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Love you. Wow, is that a threat? Hello? Sorry to bug you again. But I requested an update on Leo Wells a few days ago and haven't heard anything back. On my end, it looks like the message wasn't even opened. Is everything okay there? Come back to me as soon as you can. Tell Leia to message me back. Oh man, it's just like me. Like when I send somebody a message and they open it and they don't respond and I'm like, do they... Are they mad? <coughs> oh, for sure. Thankfully, most people sent me sound clips. Zunder, I just had to look up another sound for thunder, but that's easy because it's a very common sound. Turn on the antenna. But something's blocking the power. Something's blocking the power. The lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's check out this tower. Oh yeah, also Nightbot's gonna keep asking for a quote, but it can't actually pull quotes because the quotes are no longer on the bot itself. They're on Cloudbot, which does have the quotes, but apparently doesn't play with Nightbot in that regard. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? Oh yeah. Hellscape. Farming girls on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Damn. Well, sucks for you, sir. But yeah, cat, if you need anything, just let me know. And you know I'm always up to chat if you if you want to chat, unlike well, I don't know. Do you guys get Wi-Fi on your trains? Does it depend on how like long the train trip is, I guess? Look Probably. This place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos is out It's a teenage wasteland. Radiation. Actually, it's just a regular one. Our suits protect against that, right? Site one contains shield masks to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside site one's perimeter, that would not be advised. You would die. Okay. Just making sure. And you're welcome. I know I seem like I'm a really busy guy, but I actually have a lot of time on my hands. I just don't all, I'm not always aware of things that I could do. Depends on the train itself more than the trip. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Cause like different companies trains might be set up differently on all that. Okay. So basically if I walk outside of here, I'll die probably, right? No, I'm not dead. Oh, no! I'm... Oh! <laughs> well, that was fast. Re regional trains don't have it, but inner city express... Oh, okay. Probably as a way also to kind of um, entice people to use their services, too. Because obviously, like, Wi-Fi and, and all that are, like, pretty big things. So, you have a huge data phone... Oh, that's good! Yeah, I... It's so weird. I've noticed a lot of places have caps. Granted, the caps can be very big, but even like, even like home internet and Wi-Fi, um, there's a lot of places that still have data capped. And I'm like, <coughs> that's weird to me because I don't think I've ever experienced a data capped um, like home internet other than maybe like satellite internet. Probably just because it's harder to come by. Okay, I'm... I'm not quite sure why I'm climbing rocks, but you know what? Let's not worry about it. I guess I should follow the map. But yeah, no, it helps to have a good data plan. I've been considering switching uh, to unlimited data. Like mine has a 14 gigabyte cap, which really isn't bad because I don't, I don't really do a lot of stuff outside of my house other than, you know, like run the Uber app, which thankfully doesn't use a whole lot of information. Oh, I'm supposed to get back on my ship. Wait, why am I getting back on my ship? Are we flying somewhere else? I guess we're going somewhere else. Okay, on to the ship. But at the same time, having unlimited data is good, like, for traveling and stuff like that. Let's go. Leaving Atwell. All clear. 
Oh, wait, we're leaving at... Wait, are, were we supposed to? Did we... Okay. I'm still kind of confused on how this game works. Galaxy map. Raider, Venture wanted you to check in when you can. Uh, who? Oops! I went too far back. Anomaly on sensors. No, what? What's the anomaly? Is it that? Oh, I'm looking around. What's happening? Well, we're here now. <laughs> hey, this looks like a fun place. Oh wait, I thought I saw something flashing. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, progression, 25%. 25% what? Is, is Pythias the system I'm in? You know, let's, <laughs> let's go back to the... Okay, cool. I'm very confused. Well, time to... Okay, skip. Thanks. I get it. It's very cinematic. Am I supposed to go here? And he's on Eos. Isn't that where I just was? J just a, s <coughs> just a second. Just the uh, exit. Oh my god. Okay. Gotta say, this interface is a little weird. Okay, um, I have to check in with what's her face. Uh, how do I do that? Um, this way, maybe. Hey, can you drop by the bio lab? Uh, is this the bio lab? Certainly hope this is the bio lab. Uh, hey, I'm in storage if you need me. Uh, okay, C calm down, everyone. I'm there's only one rider. Hello? Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? <laughs> Someone has to. Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, things might start falling off the tempest at the most inopportune times. Okay, Gil. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. Wow. <laughs> I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. <laughs> oh. I do more. Oh God. Well, that's quick. Four sentences into this conversation and we're ready to bone. You mean how jazzed you were that a Pathfinder showed up? Have Thanks a good night, Cat. Thank you so you much for being here. I hope you get plenty of sleep. Sure just let me know how the trip goes. Deal. Deal. Keep me updated. Okay, so I guess uh, Gil is uh, could be boyfriend, but I gotta figure out who all else is around. <laughs> yes, very soon. Well. I say very soon, but in a few hours. You have a good night. Ladder! Use? Where am I going? <laughs> Lift. Door? I'll talk to oh! Uh, Cora? 
Oh, hey, Pathfinder. Vetra. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. hi. Sid? Fine, but don't embarrass me. Who is Sid? Uh, this is Sid, my sister. Sid Ryder. Younger sister, right? Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder? I just wanted to know if... <laughs> Do you like aliens? So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. Oh, it sounds yeah, so good, Kit. At their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we I really should make. I keep forgetting that I have a slow cooker, pressure cooker thing. He looks so bored. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I really messed up his eyelids, but you're intense. I like it. You know, what is it with, uh, you know, what? <laughs> ah, let's see what this does. Do you like people with blue hair and green tinted skin? Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah, was it too much? Some people get intimidated. <laughs> oh. We need that sort of drive. Wow, I, I got keep up. really close to her. You'll keep up. And I promise I won't tell if you don't. Okay, well. We track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back to dang. Us, you know. This is my first major mission, and I'm already like, hmm, who can I have a serious relationship with? Well, I don't know if Gil's serious or not. Like, there were a couple of relationships, I believe, in the other Mass Effects where you could just kind of have a one-night stand and then that was it. But I feel like, I don't know, I don't really like stuff like that. I mean, I personally am not good at one-night stands, so, you know. Hello? Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. A Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from a, a shitty couch. Not giving up a six percent boost. Right? <laughs> Is this a casting couch? Also, yeah, you can tell that my <laughs> my left eyelid is a little funky. Yeah, I'll, ex also accidentally hit on this guy. Yeah, it's it's like when you're playing uh, Dragon Age, and oh god, I can't remember the the dude's name in Dragon Age Two. Well, there's a few of them where you can accidentally slip into sex with people and you're just like, whoa, no, I was just trying to be nice. Wait, where did you find a couch? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. <laughs> so, find time for that beer? <laughs> and after two years and a dozen suspensions, <laughs> I took a laugh That couch is so course. raggedy. Being a cop just didn't fit. The crisis response, digging people out of trouble, that worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few P sections. Think about your line stays much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi species disaster response unit. Yeah. Oh. Well, I would if you were a video. Yeah, UST exactly. One, Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> huh. All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I do miss all that. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. God, how much how much drink do we have? Ah, yeah. Wow, there are awful lot of hey. Okay, so that's actual romance, romance. This is just like empathy. I can't remember the dream adventure. I hoped my lion's career would lead to adventure, exploring, hunting dangers in the dark. Didn't happen. Couldn't. But here, everything's new, and I want to see it all. Oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. Yeah, wouldn't it? But it's bullshit. 
I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. Not a company like this is just a positive bro to bro thing. No, yeah. <laughs> still do. I have to. Yeah, company right. like this, and then he's like, you. It goes from your face to him, and he's already like buck naked like oh is that right and you're just like whoa let's take two steps back please we could change direction we can't go back but we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us i don't feel trapped we came from a good place for good reasons we keep that in mind or stare us right just like back in crisis response remember the essentials a new start guided by the pathfinder and team i'll bust my tail to make that a good story 20 sips later <laughs> I'm just like s sitting there like uh uh okay da, 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 da. man I I like I, I really like how the um, chat thing is like hey um remember no common bots will uh show up on here all the common bots show up on the chat Awfully large tree you've got there. Yeah. Okay, lift. Lift. Bro, do you even lift? Okay, now I gotta figure out where bio whatever is, cause um Coral wants to talk to me. I'm guessing is maybe a romance option? I don't know. I don't like to assume that all women are romance options as a dude, because they're not always. But Bioware also really likes to make bi characters, so. Plants helps me think. <coughs> Something on your mind? Why am I always on like the Maybe. Everything okay? Like, you know, the lean like mm, mm. Whoa! Take it easy. Whoa. What the hell was that? What? <laughs> that was such a I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A Huntress should have better control. Yeah, exactly. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. But you're not Something blue. stick though, like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Yeah. Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart and people get nervous. I say give me I core, am. give me death. The Alliance found me a cross-species I have liked everybody so far. Sent me to Thessia to serve with a Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. You were a second in command. Were you friends too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. I'm still here. We can talk. I man, I'm gonna... <laughs> goody, listen. goody, man. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way. And I meant it. But I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? That I'm a cool bro. Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. Well, you might have a rival because there is Vetra over there. Also, I just added your command again, so we should be good. What did you come? We'll be good together. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that's so cheesy. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. This is if true. You want to talk, I'll be here. Sounds good. Whoa, that was a weird perspective shift. Okay. 
I think it's time to go back to the planet and figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Anyway, it's okay. We've only been playing for about 30 minutes and I have gotten... Well, I've at least figured out that I can bang almost everybody on my ship. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Okay, because we're disembarking. It told me to... Oh, oh man. Locked by combat fitness three extra home. <clears throat> Basically, I ain't shit because I uh I don't have cool gun. But I can switch to that bad boy. Okay, yeah. Do, do, do. Um, confirm loadout. Oops, I should have modded that. The scent is green. Thanks. It's actually colorless. Pack is calm. Also, the planet's more like a brown? I mean, there is a little green, I guess. Although I feel like saying descent is brown is just like a euphemism for poop. Okay. So it it was Oh, it's telling me to go up there. I swear it was pointing at the ship. But I think I'm just dumb and I thought it was looking at the ship. It's okay to be colorblind. I mean, that's true. I shouldn't Structure I shouldn't make fun of them. Sam, it fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Time to take the back entrance. Oh, oh, uh. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The cat are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. I love poking the tiger. Expect trouble when we start the generators. Boop, boop. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Lame. Please scan one of the pylons to determine the hackable input location. Um. That's not how you scan. <laughs> um. Oh, that's how you switch. Uh. Uh. Sorry, guys. I forgot how to. Yep. Oh. Nope. There must be a scannable interface on the power pylon. I know! I'm trying to remember! Don't rush me! Uh. There! Down! This analysis provides us with important generator interface possible. Location marked. Yeah, I can interface with the janitor. Generator. <laughs> janitor. I don't know how words work. No oh, wait, I have to go to the top. Oh, okay. Er, oh yeah, I can climb. I forgot. There's a lot happening. Boo, boo, boo. Are we ready for aliens? Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? 
playing hooky. Or he's a part-time salvager. Okay. <laughs> I guess I can put this away for now. Nothing's trying to kill me yet. Oh, I gotta activate two power pylons. Ugh. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Give me that energy. We've got company. I was like, where's the company? I don't have tea ready for them. I thought this thing was going to be uh, automatic. It is not automatic. It is very not automatic. <laughs> Got him. They weren't kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. <laughs> hey, I shot like three aliens. Please open. Oh, hi. <coughs> you took down all those cat. Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Crazy Blue. Also, I like how his face was super lit up and mine was like the darkest. Ooh, container. Yeah, give me those electrodes. Power restored. We should have access to everything in site one now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond site one. The structure huh. appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Damn right. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. We better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Hey, wait. I still have things to uh, explore here. I thought I saw something now on this side. Is restored, we can or not. The, nearby buildings. the viability has gone up. That's a container. You know, I just realized too, I'm like, man, you know, I was playing this. I was also playing Resident Evil 8, which I still want to play and beat. So maybe I'll, oh man. Why are there so many games <laughs> that I need to play? I mean, I did beat Final Fantasy VII Remake, so maybe I could play it on Friday. You know, I could take a quick break from Final Fantasy and be like, oh, uh, uh, President Evil. That's not a word at all, actually. But I mean, I know I did, uh, I did beat the first boss. I got to do the other bosses. And then I got, because I was like, man, I'm having such a good time. And then I got sick and then it sucked. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Rebuilds! This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. Okay, more containers. 
Yeah, so maybe that's what I'll do for a bit. Because I do want to get through Resident Evil. Not because I don't like it, but because I like it, and I want to get through it in like a timely manner. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Oh. Uh, research? Wasn't I researching... Sniper rifle. I don't know if I like how this thing looks. It looks kind of cobbled together, but I guess uh, that's kind of what happens. You know what? Um, air blueprint. Oh, I need 125. That's... I don't have, like, anything! Development? Oh, that's a sniper rifle. Yay, I have a new gun. Um, helmet. I can't make any of these. Okay. Terminal. What's in this terminal? I already activated the power relay. Scan containers to find a vehicle. Clear atmospheric radiation. Oh, what's this? Login. Senior Foreman Adriano Finesca. Tried the new pin design on the shelters today. Not only time it'll tell if they actually hold together when the next or only time will tell if they actually hold together when the next storm rolls over. At least it should be easier to find the pieces this time. Shorty's pitching for an evac back to the Nexus. Too many cat, not enough water, no hope, he says. Rather sell supplies and sleep on the deck than lie awake listening to storms one more night. Can't say I disagree. Listening three of my guys to the cat made me wonder about leaving too. But I asked him what I asked myself. What's back on the Nexus for pioneers? Isn't Aos what we signed on for? Has to be. Well, you know, true. This is container. That's not. All right. Door open. Go. Um. That's empty. Uh. Oh yeah, I gotta scan more things for research. Buckaroos. Oh wait, I can scan things. I need to be better at scanning things. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. But it looks like it's this empty. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Let's find it. Okay, I can call down things, I guess. Oh, wait. Uh, turbine generator. It doesn't seem to be uh, generating a whole lot. In fact, it just seems to be sitting there, uselessly. Activating automated forward station deployment. Bonk. Well, hello. Looks like the Ford Station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate. Oh, and I can change my loadout. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, mods. Penetration damage up. Spare ammo. Oh, I want that though. There we go. Mods. Uh. Yeah. This is my baby now. Uh. Uh. <coughs> 
Oh, now I'm heavy, I guess, because I'm carrying two heavy weapons. But you know what? I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Its lack of automatic setting was origi uh, originally advertised as a feature rather than a shortcoming as it curbs the user's tendency to spray inaccurate fire under stress. Okay, so it 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 just uh, doesn't have a full auto. Makes sense. station protocol initiated. Habitat 1, named EOS, did not match initiative pre-flight profiles. Advanced predictives or predictives are no longer applicable. Parameters are, require 94% rework. Wow. Um, basically, it sucks. Initiating magnospheric tomography. Okay, well, whatever. Herdiger, this planet is not as nice as we thought it was going to be. Sucks to be us. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, now we have codes. Open. Bonk. This thing, okay, never mind. I was like, this thing looks empty. Um, hello? Is somebody inside of that? Does it just move on its own? Is that how? I don't want a car that moves on its own. Helium-3 jump jets, alloy track tires, counteractive hull plating. Analysis, an exploration vehicle designed for field adaptation. Specifications and capability forward to technician Gil Brody for further modification. This looks like something you'd get like, like a $20 like RC car that promises to like walk on like walls. Uh, that handle pretty smooth. Check um. both forward and reverse, would you? Oh god, this is going to be a little awkward. Toggle mining computer. What? Launch mining what? <laughs> what? Okay, well, it's much better than before when my life support was like zero and oh god, <laughs> please, <laughs> please purchase. Uh, I kind of thought these veiny things would do it, like. Launch mining drone. I don't have any mining drones to launch. Okay, well, I guess we should follow the tracks. How do I, what do you mean switch to six wheel drive? I am six wheel driving. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, it just, okay. Well, this is, it's just much slower. Okay, come on, you guys, you gave me a ram. Of course I'm gonna use the ram. Woo! Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Out we go, okay. That'll take a little getting used to. Hello? I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. Oh, the thing's scanning? Well, let's interface with the alien device. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. Yeah. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Scan complete. Gating element polyadaptive capacitors theoretical. This interface console appears to control large amounts of energy. Uh, blast shield. 
Cool. Explosion risk. Freezing hazard. Oh, that's not good. Well... Can I interface with it now? It's working, but I'm just getting random Never mind. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7. Okay. I, I get it. I get it. Sorry. I... And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. Someone's shuttle. Pretty banged up, but spaceworthy. Spaceworthy? Oh, oh, I got, um... Uh... Uh, oh. Oh, does that just lead back to this? Okay, so that just so we got to get up and touch whatever the hell is up there. How do we do that? Why, <laughs> why are you guys crawling on things? Calm down a bit. Okay, let's see. Um. Oh well, okay. Well, just cool. Yeah, it's just kind of. This is safe. This is safe. Up there. I don't know. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Uh. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. Cool. So I guess now I have enough glyphs. Okay. Try not to break our legs. Now we can interface with it because we learned one symbol. Connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Uh, isn't that bad from, like, Please. my brain? Oh, hell, hello? Huh? Hello? Or I will push you down. What? Hello? Whoa, easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. D don't say that while you're straddling me, please. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Oh, I had a chance okay. to push her off. Can you not be so touchy feely? I've known I you know, for I 20 know. seconds. Who am I? who you are I saw the ship swoop in you're a pathfinder I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope but you're for real huh y yeah uh what about you are you for real you were going to tell me who you are I might just be the solution to all your problems uh is that so <laughs> well, uh. look at that System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Mm hmm Oh crap. Oh well that doesn't seem good. So I know these from ah, ah. later. Just take them out. Oh hi. Okay. Oh, uh huh. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, hi. Not bad. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots. They're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. I feel like... Uh, just a second. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. 
I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and poof, solved. I was like, it's very echoey, and I couldn't tell if it's because of the environment or something else. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh? Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. So we follow the thread. The monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy. <laughs> sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Yes, ma'am. Here, take my nav points. I'll be. I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Yeah, you think I hadn't noticed? With all, I mean, something just tried to kill me. Okay, so. So we're going further to the, the, that. Hello? Oh, they're jump jetting. I was like, are you guys okay? Here we go. Follow the tracks this way. Hazard level one. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you. And then this time will be different. Right. This is ah! our uh, well you guys keep doing whatever you're doing. I'm gonna go yeah, over here. Oh wait, but I'm not. I'm not <laughs> just. I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm going this way. Thanks. Boost. Uh. What's over that way, though? What over here? Where'd this go? Oh! Oh! That looks like a place for mining. It's not even that dark. <laughs> like, turn on a computer in dark spaces. I can literally see everything. Uh, well, I guess I'm up. Uh, I guess. Whoa! Can I run them over? I don't think I can really run them over. Okay. Anyway, um, everybody out. I think that's it. What do you mean that's it? It's not. That's not it at all. Automatic sniper rifle? That's a little odd. Hello, would you like to peep your little head out? Reload. Got him. Take that. Ken, watch out. Bro, where'd you go? All oh, right there. Oh, gosh. Got him. Go team. Go team. Dude, cadmium. 
that. Switch to that. And more cadmium. Sorry, I'm concentrating very hard because I'm like, I don't really want to die right now. What is that? Looks like they found it drifting and brought it here. I'm not Earth pod. Blade, point of origin, Pathfinder. But the Ark could be intact, like the Hyperion. Let's hope so. Yeah, let's hope so. Get some bullets, please. Okay, I guess I can't scan that. Oh, more cadmium. Yes, please. More cat. Man, this place is chock full of cadmium. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so far so good. More cadmium. Uh, what do we have here? Anything to scan? A terminal. How do you log? Oh. R11 Holor. In need of of assistance. What? A field log pathfinder issued to patrolling cat. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Wow. To language database. Judgmental much? Ooh, cat alloy. Very good. I don't like the fact that the, the little jetpack boost sounds very similar to, you know, like laser fire. So I get very confused whenever my squad mates are just randomly boosting around. Watching the corners. These caves could be a good shelter if people need it. At least it's cooler in here. This is true. I already got that cadmium. All right, let's get out of here and go where I'm supposed to go. Enter vehicle. Already going a hundred kilometers per hour. That's some pretty good acceleration. Oh. There. That spot is shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy chemicals ah! at the nearby remnant structure. I don't want to look anymore. It would be an excellent outpost site. Cat and remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. So, if we clear the skies, this might be our new home. Dun, dun, dun. I'm sure you say that about every barren planet. Don't you? Levels normal. Regulation achieved. Music inspirational. What? We predict Habitat One is a lush and vibrant world. The green band rushes over. The citadel is a world away. And there's more to freedom than the terminus. This golden world offers a true pioneer thousands of kilometers of untamed potential. And with advanced genetic storage, in mere months, we'll be deploying the literal creature comforts that will enable you to thrive. Image, pastoral plain. Image, sunset. Image, rugged stoicism. Image, cow. Cow? <laughs> Just cow? I mean, I guess cows are pretty cool and indicative of life. Man. All right, let me go ahead and end this recording for now, though.